Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method. The first thing you should know about Rubik's Cubing in general is you should know that the middle caps will tell what that color will be when the cube is solved. So this will be the orange side, this will be the white side, green side, red side, and so on. Also, we have three types of pieces. We have corner pieces, which have three stickers. We have edge pieces that have two stickers. And a center piece, which just has one. The center pieces never move. They do rotate, but they never switch positions. The white will always be opposite the yellow. The blue will always be opposite the green. And the orange will always be opposite the, the red. So, to get started, let's start with the cross. We have a white piece here that is not lined up with the correct color. Since this is orange, we want to, we want to make sure that this is lined up with the orange side, which is here. So we're going to simply turn to the top layer to line that up. We have a white, white, orange, orange. Now let's look on the bottom and see what we have. We've got an, an, a red and white piece here that needs to go here on the red side. So to do that, we're going to turn the bottom layer, line that up with the red, and we're going to turn that to the top so that it lines up. Okay, so this is kind of a kind of a difficult situation. We have a green, and we have a blue, but if we if we turn that to the top, the white is not facing up. It's facing sideways. So how, how are we going to fix that? Well, this is kind of where you just kind of have to think intuitively. You have to think, okay, well, I, I don't really want to mess up what I've already done, but I'm going to have to do it temporarily so that I can line this blue up with the blue side. Knock that out of place. Turn the blue and white to the top. And make sure that we put this right back in place. Now we have, we have one more piece that needs to go in place, and that's here the green piece. So now you never really want to rotate the top during the cross because you you don't want to mess up, you don't want to break this connection here. You know, if you turn the top you're going to break that. So we're going to just turn the bottom. Line the green up with the green and turn that side to the top. Now the problem is we have a white piece in the middle layer here that needs to go here on the orange side because it's a it's a white and orange piece. However, we can't just move it to the top because that's messing that's messing what we've already put uh, on top. It's messing it up. So we could move it to the bottom layer. We're knocking this one out of place for a second. We're going to turn the bottom layer and make sure we put this right back in place. That way we don't destroy what we've already done. Now you've got this on the bottom, ready to turn to the top. The cross is complete. Now let me show you a cross that is done very incorrectly. Okay, a lot of beginners, they just kind of, they start moving these to the top, and boom, we got a cross. What do you know? Wait a second. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's not right either. So this is not this is not correct. So if you have it looking like this, please correct it. Let me do that real quick because this is not okay. There you go. The next step, putting the corners in place. So we're going to turn the cube upside down. We're now going to we're going to have the cross, the white side on the bottom at all times from this point forward and the yellow will be on the top. Next you're going to identify the corner pieces that you want to put in place. These are the corners we want to solve next. So look on the, we're going to be messing a lot with the top layer uh, because we don't, if we, if we turn the bottom layer we're going to mess up, we're going to break this connection here and we don't want to do that. So from here on we're, we'll be turning the sides and we'll be turning the top. So here's a piece, a white, a green, and an orange. This piece needs to go here. So I've got it lined up above the slot it goes. I'm going to simply perform a short algorithm to get it in place. U prime, 
L prime U L. So here's another piece, green, white, and red. This piece is going to go right here. Right above the slot, we're going to perform an algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime. We've got a red, blue, and white piece here, so we're going to line that up right above the slot that that's going to go. That needs to go right here because this is the blue and the red side. Blue and red piece. So we're going to perform U prime, L prime, U, L. And that puts that in place. So we've got one more, and that's this one. We're going to move it right above the blue and orange slot, and we're going to insert it. There we go. First layer is solved. On this step, we're going to be putting the edge pieces that belong in the middle layer into their correct locations. Any of the middle edge pieces, they're not going to contain any yellow stickers, because yellow is going to be on the top. So we're not going to have any of these yellow stickers uh, that are going to need to go in the middle layer. So we're going to look on the top layer, and we're going to see if we can find an edge piece that does not contain a yellow sticker. Here's one. Blue and orange. So. First, you're going to turn the top layer, line it up with the correct side. This piece needs to go here between the orange and blue. So we're going to start on this side and we're going to perform an algorithm. And it's in place. So we're going to now look again in the top layer and see if we can find one. Okay, we've got a red and we've got a blue. Line it up with the blue side that's going to go right here between the blue and the red and perform that algorithm again. We've got a orange and we've got a green here. So we're going to line that up with the green. And this piece is going to go here between the green and the orange. We're going to perform that algorithm yet again. And we've got one left, and that is this piece here. We're going to line that up with the green, perform the algorithm. And the middle layer is solved. Another thing you might come up with is a situation like this, where you've got all the pieces solved and you have a, you have a corner and edge piece that are in the right place, but the, ed, the middle edge piece is not oriented per correctly. So how we're going to fix that, we're going to just simply move this to the top layer, get it out of there, and now we need to separate these two pieces. So. A way to do that is, well, we don't want to mess up any of these corners. The only side we really want to turn is this one, because we don't want to we we've got an empty slot here. We don't want to mess these up. So we're gonna we're gonna turn these back to the back layer. Make a few twists there. We made sure to put this right back in place, and we've got these two separated now. So now we can simply insert the corner like we would in step two. and we've got a piece here now on top. Now we can go ahead and perform the uh, algorithm and get that back in place, but oriented correctly. We are just got, we just got done with the first two layers and we want to, we want to orient the, the middle edge pieces on the top layer so that we have a yellow cross. Right now we've got to, and uh, the, the thing in this step is you're looking for certain patterns. And so first thing I'm gonna look for is do I have an arrow or do I have a line? Well, in this, in this situation I have an arrow. So I'm gonna apply this algorithm.
and that gets me my yellow cross. Let's say we, that we had a line, for example. Here we've got a line. You're going to perform a very similar algorithm, but instead of doing the lowercase r, which is the two layers, you're only going to do one. You're going to do front r u r prime u prime f prime. And you've got the cross. In this step, you are going to be orienting the corner pieces. So first things first, you want to count how many corner pieces you currently have that are yellow on top. You're looking to, you're either going to have zero, one, or two. Well, in this case, we have two. So we're going to apply a particular algorithm. First, we're going to take one of these yellow pieces that are on the edge, and we're going to make sure that it's pointing towards us. R u r prime u r u2 r prime and you may have to apply this algorithm several times before you actually get the top solved okay so now we have one corner that is a yellow so in this situation you're gonna point it down towards the lower left and perform that algorithm again r u r prime u r u2 r prime and once again, you have one yellow corner piece, so you're going to point that towards the lower left and apply that algorithm a third time. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And you've got the top oriented and ready to go to the next step. In this step, we're going to be moving the corner pieces to their correct locations. So first you're going to locate the headlights, or two corner pieces that are the same color on the same side. <clears throat> and you're going to put those in the back. And then perform this algorithm. R, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. So here we are on the last step. You should have all the pieces moved to the correct locations and oriented correctly. Most likely you're going to have a solid side done. If not, just go ahead and apply one of these algorithms and you will it'll get you to a state where you do have a solid side. So what you're going to do is you're going to put that solid side in the back facing away from you and perform the algorithm that's appropriate depending on which direction these middle pieces need to go in order to get to where they need to go. So here we have the red piece and this is the red side so it looks like this piece is going to need to go here, the orange piece is going to need to go here, and the blue piece is going to need to go here. So that's moving in a counterclockwise direction, going reverse of what a clock would go. So we're gonna we're gonna apply this algorithm. And that solves it. So let's just say that you had the opposite of the situation. And you wanted to move these clockwise. So we have a solid side in the back. And we have a green piece here that needs to go to the green side. We have a blue piece that needs to get to the blue side. An orange that needs to get to the orange side. So this is moving in a counter... No, this, sorry, this is moving in a clockwise direction. We're going to be performing that same algorithm almost exactly. 